One of the reasons I wanted to do this question was just idle curiosity because I fly light aircraft and one of the things you have to learn to pass the written bits of the exam are um, temperature changes, temperature falls because it affects something called performance altitude i.e. how the aeroplane will perform, how powerful the engine will be and how well the wings will provide lift relative to a standard atmospheric day, a standard temperature, a standard pressure and so on. That varies by the temperature at the altitude you're at and so on. And you learn that the adiabatic lapse rate is approximately two degrees per thousand feet you go up. That becomes significant, not very significant if you're flying around England and just flying up to a few thousand feet, but if you take off from somewhere very high up or even somewhere very low down on a hot or a cold day, that sort of thing can make a difference, especially if the aeroplane is very heavily loaded. But apart from that, it is quite interesting that people think it must get hotter as you go higher, because in a room that's undoubtedly true. All the hot air ends up settling up in the roof, i.e. miles above your head and where you need to be warm, and the bit down here remains freezing cold. But it's not true of the atmosphere as a whole. You're better off, if you want to be warm, staying near the ground. And if you go to a very hot country, one of the best ways to cool down is go up a mountain. It's why Europeans in places like India in the old days used to go to tea plantations up in places like Darjeeling. It was high up, it was cooler. Simple as that.